guys in this tutorial so in this video we will discuss practical hand of consideration in wireless mobile communication system so guys before starting the video i want to tell you if you are if you have really getting the some benefit from my videos then please subscribe my channel and like the videos if you have any query regarding any of the video then please write in the comment section so let's start the video so guys in this video we will discuss the practical hand of consideration uh, the hand of technique and uh, the um, basically umbrella technique we will uh, discuss here and cell dragging problem in the hand of we will uh, discuss here so let's start first of all let's uh, begin with video what is uh, hand off basically uh, hand off is a uh, basically technique or we can say hand off is uh, is at that particular situation when the user uh, moves uh, from the one base station boundary to and boundary to the another uh, uh, base station or when the user enter uh, from one base station to the another base station so when user leaves the one base station and enter the and other base station area so basically that condition is called handoff and uh, here here uh, basically if you if you have if we have only establishing a single macro base station base station is base is nothing but it is a tower and macro cell macro cell is the uh, is a uh, basically tower or cell that transmitting transmitting their uh, signals in the large areas and the micro cell is the small cell that uh, that can only transmit their signals and receive signal from small area coverage so this is the difference between the macro and micro cell and uh, basically these um, macro cell or large tower uh, that is uh, that, that is uh, basically serve the high speed users are for long distance users and micro cell small cell that uh, that will serve only for low speed users here during the high speed users that creating the heavy burden on the mobile switching center due to the rapid movement basically if uh, uh, in the region of any base stations when the users moving very fastly uh, and changing the uh, base stations one base station to another base station or uh, lot of base stations uh, when the user fastly uh, changes uh, and most of the base stations or lot of base stations are come under in the consideration of the mobile switching center so when the users are changing very fastly uh, the base stations and then due to that uh, this 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 create the lot of burden on mobile switching center so due to the rapid movement of the users so this is a problem for mobile switching center and uh, our msc and to minimize this hand of burden on the mobile switching center some techniques basically this uh, umbrella technique that is that we will discuss that is used here here as you can see in this figure this is the um, umbrella technique figure uh, basically here this is a big uh, tower or we can say this is a macro cell so and this this big hexagonal the coverage area of this macro cell and these small cells these small uh, hexagonals are the small cells micro cells basically so in uh, this uh, big coverage area some small micro cells are deployed uh, mostly in case of the urban areas or uh, the area where have lot of population so on that particular condition the these are the small micro cells are used uh, to uh, serve that lot of users so for small uh, or we can say the low speed users uh, these small cell are beneficial and the users that are uh, moving very high speed 
so for that particular users this large base station is beneficial and uh, so it has deployed the macro ba base station that is big base station and under the macro base stations uh, with which have uh, which changing uh, means without changing of the location of this uh, other small base stations so uh, if we establish this small base station in other particular location that is uh, costly and uh, and uh, due to that also some problems so if uh, uh, here uh, for removing or for solving these msc problems burden problems here these small micro base stations are used in the macro base station range for serving the uh, users in the urban areas and due to that uh, if you uh, deploy the multiple micro cells in the uh, macro cell range due to that the it increase the capacity of the system and base station that is known as umbrella technique basically this is this is a umbrella technique uh, so due to that due to these micro cells this uh, this base stations have improving the capacity it will handle the more number of users uh, comparison with the other cells so the speed of each user may be estimated by the base stations or mobile switching center so uh, the micro cells here we uh, that i have already told micro cells are the are small cells that are served by the low speed users and macro cell or a cell uh, macro cell is responsible for serving the high speed vehicles are users so in the low speed users the users are basically pedestrian users are walking users and that are walking in slow speed and uh, in the high speed users the users that are uh, moving with vehicle are very high speed or uh, the users that are traveling by the air routes uh, so that users are the high speed users here here one thing is if the user uh, reduce their speed uh, and uh, from one way station to the other way station for getting the hand of directly by the base station in the uh, umbrella technique locating the user so here the meaning of this line is if the user or one if the user is changing uh, the first base station to the other way station and it will get the hand of suppose he, here in this range and this range user so if the user is uh, this user is the user that that is in the in this if if any of the user that is in this location and it is if it it will change the base station from this to this then it will it will not need to uh, take the permission from mobile switching center it will directly change their uh, base station this user with the help of this base station so this is the uh, advantage of the um, umbrella technique and basically umbrella technique reduce the uh, loads or we can say burden uh, from the mobile switching center and very helpful for reducing the handoffs and uh, let's move to the next part cell dragging in this uh, handoff so here what is cell dragging basically cell dragging we can say cell dragging is the hand of problem is a problem this is not a technique this is a problem hand of problem uh, and created by the pedestrian users or the users that are uh, walking uh, simply walking uh, on the street or paths on the slow speed so uh, cell dragging this issue occurs cell dragging the pedestrian users that provide when the pedestrian users that are uh, sending the very high high or strong signal to the base station or strong uh, when the uplink signal is very high signal or uplink signal is a signal that is transmitted from mobile to base stations or when the user transmit very high signal to the base station and when the user that is in the other base station and that is sending to their neighbor base station signal very high signal uh, and uh, this situation occur in case of mostly urban areas basically so and uh, when the users are connected in the point to point link or line of 
site link is establishing between the both user and base station so this condition is occur at that particular time so when the users walks uh, away from the desired uh, range of the cell and uh, the received signal at the base station that is above the threshold level means uh, the meaning of this lines means uh, the received signal that is the some signal means uh, uh, that is the value of that particular signal is uh, the uh, is above from the minimum acceptable level so it is not below the acceptable level it is some uh, acceptable level so the received signal and uh, basically this same same power signal is uh, the from other base station in the other cell and uh, this will create the interference basically this is a we can say a potential interference the interference is uh, creating by the potential means same, potential means signal uh, same power signal of the other cell that is called potential interference and creates the traffic management problems basically uh, traffic traffic management problem means uh, that is uh, uh, jamming in the uh, uh, sites and uh, lot of buffering on the sites sites sometimes sites are not working so it creates a lot of uh, problems uh, during the uh, browsing on the internet so when the user ue means user uh, travel the deep in the neighbor base station range this condition will occur this condition will occur when this user is traveled or uh, uh, enters in the deep uh, range of this neighbor base station or neighbor tower and to solve this cell uh, cell dragging problem basically in the hand of so the hand of threshold and the radius of the coverage parameters some parameters for the base stations that need to choose carefully uh, in the wireless communication system basically so that's all for this video guys so guys if you really get something from this video please like the videos and subscribe my channel so thank you guys